Hello everybody, uh, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Today in this video I want to uh, talk about uh, what's been going on in terms of what we call risk management in terms of crypto trading bots or any kind of strategy or trading bot, whatever you're building. Um, so in this specific, these are the settings that I have. As you know, I got five different, um, five different settings here. Or sorry, five different strategies. And essentially, each one of the strategies that are broken up here, this is in the INI file that you may know about if you follow what I do. Um, and each strategy has its own distinct set of parameters, as well as there's the master level as well. Um, so you can have any of these individual strategies uh, override the master one or the default. So let's get into it. Let me. I've talked about the uh, strategy before. I'll just go over them again real fast. We have a simple USDT one minute spot strategy, Ethereum spot momentum based, Bitcoin futures oscillation. We have a futures EMA momentum or expansion moving average, and just a generic futures momentum strategy. And this one's probably the most profitable. So when we go into the uh, defaults here, um, most of the trades, except for this one, will take place in the Ethereum markets on Binance. And uh, the minimum trade for that's like maybe $5. Everything else is in USDT or Tether. Minimum trade for that is a 10 bucks in the trade. So what I've done is I've um, segregated out the number of trades that you may want to uh, deploy over a 24 hour period. And the 24-hour period right now will be set at midnight, uh, according to the uh, system. I've, I've still yet to test this, but if your system, your bot is um, uh, recording everything on midnight time locally, that's that's the time that this will start. So what we have is is we set a setting for how many numbers of trades you want. As I said, that's usually going to be 99% of the time be in USDT or Tether, minimum amount to trade. On Binance is 10 USDT or 10 Tether, which is the equivalent of 10 US dollars. So um, depending upon how far and aggressive you want to go with the strategies that we've got here, uh, $10 uh, per trade times 10 is obviously 100 bucks. So it's not very much from what I'm seeing. Um, and you will have absolute a lot of control over this, but you could go a hundred trades, a thousand trades, just depends upon your account size. Also, people have been asking for a total drawdown. This is a percent. So if your overall strategy uh, draws down more than standard, it's fifteen percent per day per twenty four hours. The uh, bot will shut down and wait it out until the next 24-hour period. That's to try to control and minimize. If you're losing badly, to minimize the losses. Could be um, bad market conditions going against you. Um, and any 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 of these uh, metrics or any of these parameters that are breached will shut down the bot until the next trading day. So if you have uh, six hours of trading from midnight to 6 a.m any of these conditions are broken or breached, that means then the bot will shut down and reset itself until the following midnight and try again. So it will not look at uh, trading conditions to continue trading. Um, so there, I, I might put in other uh, metrics in here where you can override this. For instance, if you don't wanna have a limit on the number of trades you do per day, you could set this at let's say zero and not be affected by that. So I will um, probably do that kind of configuration if people want that. So back to the total drawdowns. So if you are drawing down more than 15% across all strategies, the bot will shut down. Also, um, a standard metric that people use is the uh, daily target uh, percent-wise on if they're deploying 100 bucks and putting that at risk into the market and they get back a dollar uh, in return for that, they're happy and uh, they shut they, they shut down the bot, wait it out until again next day and start again. And that's how you can kind of bit by bit 
grow your account with a 1% increase if you achieve it in a day and then wait it out to the next day because I've, I've done this for years now. If you set a daily target, 1% is usually pretty good um, and you achieve it and you let the fear and then there's greed kick in. This time it's the greed. The probability you'll move up, you can move up, um, but the probability of that, especially in a flat kind of market where it's range bound, Chances are, if you go beyond that limit that you allow the target, chances are you will um, you will uh, lose uh, your target, the profit. Uh, and you have a pretty high probability of that happening, from my experience. Okay, so let's talk about each strategy and um, uh, their. So this is not final. I won't put this video into the tutorial page for a reason because it's not final. Once it's final, then I'll put it in a tutorial page, but this is what where it's going for each strategy. So in this case, let's say the USDT one minute spot, you can turn on and off the strategy uh, for each one, as you can see here with the active. So if you don't want it running, just say no, um, and it won't run. So in our case, if we have one strategy that's profitable in this case, we let it run, but we keep all the other ones not active, meaning active is equal to no. Also, I've talked about the weighted average, which is an important factor. Um, this metric right here will enable you to say if your weighted average is hitting a positive quarter percent, it'll start trading. So if it's not at least quarter percent, this strategy will not trade, just so you know. Um, a trade mode is similar to an active mode. Um, I'll have to get into that and reveal more of that in the tutorial videos it's for uh, right now testing. This, these four are definitely for risk management related. Total trades, again, no different than this one. So you could set, let's say, 100 trades here. Set um, maybe, or, or let's say, total trades here at 10. And you only want to allow two trades uh, or maybe three trades for whichever strategy you're comfortable with and setting. But do remember this is crypto. And if you leave all of this unfiltered, it can trade over a thousand trades per day if it's very active. Um, so if you don't let it trade, you don't have the account, it may not do what you want. On the other hand, there's the flip side as well. When the market conditions are, don't allow, uh, you can you lose, as I said earlier in past videos. So again, similar uh, idea here on the strategy total drawdown. So for this particular one, this will override that one, the master one, because this is specifically attached to this strategy. So the total drawdown, if, if this particular uh, drawdown uh, is more than 15% for this particular strategy, it will not trade that strategy anymore. It'll keep the bot going with the other active strategies but it won't um it won't it just just shuts down that particular strategy uh again same thing at a strategy level you can set a daily target return of one percent for this particular strategy so for instance if you've got um let's say four or five different strategies you can set maybe uh for simplistic sake we'll say a daily of 1.25 on the daily total return target, we can set each one of these because there's five of them to set saying, if you reach a quarter percent for this strategy, uh, shut down that particular strategy. You can do it over five strategies and hope that all five strategies do get a quarter percent. And then um, you have a total of one and a quarter percent. So you, you have different ways to individually set a, pro, a, a target level uh, for a particular strategy. All right, um, so lastly, we have total number of trades, similar to this, but it's specific only for each individual strategy. Now, out of the gate, you're probably wondering, what would you set? I will be setting my settings, what I feel is comfortable uh, from the get-go, um, as I said before, in terms that you will probably need to adjust these settings and parameters over time as market con ch uh, conditions change. 
Um, I'll be running a whole value added service for that. Um, and uh, you, you would need to kind of do that. I may be able to figure out ways in future versions, be able to have it, these settings self adapt to market conditions. Um, and you will quickly see that there's more uh, settings as well. This is just for risk management for the overall bot. And then there's the overall um, exit settings as well for each strategy, meaning when I say exit, like what are you setting your um, stop loss, your take profit for each of these strategies? Or do you want to apply it to, to, to the master, the default, so on like that. And there's other things like using RSI, but they're very specific to the strategy and that's the next thing I'll talk about. Um, but those will be changed and added and taken out as this thing evolves to optimize and make this better uh, for all the different strategies involved with this uh, crypto bot trading service. Hope that will help you out. Thanks for watching, and uh, we shall be marching along. Thanks for watching again. Take it easy.